Hi, my name is Aurelio Martinez. I'm with the City of Austin Code Department, and I'm here to talk about rooming houses and boarding houses. So we do uh, residential inspections uh, on rooming houses and boarding houses. The difference between a rooming house and a boarding house is that a rooming house usually means you have to pay to have a space and they don't get any meals. A boarding house usually means that you're, you're getting a meal out of it. Most of our residential boarding houses uh, do provide meals to their tenants. There's a process that they must go through and they have to apply for, for a license. People get a little frightened because they think, well, it's, you know, it's a, it's a government entity. They're going to, they're going to put rules on us, this, that, and the other, but we don't get involved in the daily activities or whatever, the, whatever it is that's going on in the, in the home. That's all private. When we do the annual inspection, we will do an exterior inspection of the facility, yeah. ensure that the yard is well maintained and kept. There's no trash, no debris. Uh, includes the front yard, the backyard, sides of the house. And once inside, we'll make sure that there's sufficient lighting. We'll make sure that you have sufficient electricity. Most of your plugs work inside. We'll check to make sure that there are uh, smoke detectors and uh, carbon monoxide detectors just outside of all the bedrooms. You have to have a smoke alarm in every bedroom. And so we'll make sure those are there and they're all functioning. we we'll make sure that the windows aren't blocked. We'll make sure that we can get in out of those windows. All your egresses are not blocked. Whether it be a front door, back door, side door, even the garage door has to work. So you got to be able to lift it in case you have to get out that way. We check to make sure that the, uh, there's sufficient hot water. It reaches 110 degrees within three minutes. We recommend, especially if it's a, a, a boarding home, that they they at least get a fire extinguisher that they can put somewhere near the kitchen just in case of a fire and they can extinguish it out. Pretty much it. That's it. It's pretty basic, and we only we'll come back once a year and take a look. And if everything's good, you you pass and you get your renewal license. It's important for the safety of the tenants, living a healthy life in a healthy home.